Hi guys, this is Billy McClellan. I'm in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm reporting for the MMA show. You're probably wondering where is Gary Alexander? Well, to make a long story short, I called him up and I said, Gary, uh, I'm heading down to Boston and I'm gonna have a camera with me. If you can set anything up, that'd be awesome. And he called uh, Mark Delagrati down at Sitio Tongue and, uh, and this is what I got. I hope you like it, I had a ball doing it. What's your uh, history, sort of personally, with, with Joe Lozon? Um, we dated about three years ago, and, and ever since that, I've been real bitter. Uh, he's uh, we wanted to fight him ever since. No, uh, you know, actually, uh, everyone kind of knows each other. Like you said, the MMA community is small here in Boston, but we do have a lot of events, and we always see each other at the local MMA events. I've seen him since he was a kid competing in the uh, grappling tournaments and NAGA and stuff. and. Um, I came up in the, through the same circuit. It was always cool to see another local kid do well. And um, he's always been very respectful, always a good kid. And he actually came to one of my seminars in the past. And um, so I, I know him on that level. I, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm friends with him, but I know him. We always say hello, obviously, and always we're pushing for each other to do well. But uh, now <laughs> we're, we're kind of walking in that same path. We're on the same street, and there's only, one, uh, only enough space for one of us to get by. And um, you know, we're going to face each other. I always kind of felt that we'd face each other at some point. Um, and uh, here we are. I think Joe's a great fighter. He's very well-rounded. He's done very well. Um, he's a young fighter. He's been doing uh, great for a while. Um, training with BJ Penn. So uh, he's, got, he's got a lot of, um, you know, a lot of respect in the MMA community. And it's great to see someone else from Boston get that. And uh, now it's time for us to fight and, you know, see, see who the top 155er is in, in the area. And... You know, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. He's a great fighter, and I think it's going to be a good challenge for me. You know, I think a lot of people are, and especially the fans. A lot of us, a lot of the fans support both of us. And I think we've got some pretty strict, you know, division lines now. A lot of fans, uh, you know, want to see us both do well. But you know, now it's like a civil war going on in Boston. There's riots. There's been riots for the last few weeks, and uh, no, but uh, you know, I, I think. I'm going to be ready. I'm always ready. I'm always training hard. I know Joe is too. And um, I think it's going to come down, I, once again, the little things. It's the little things at the highest levels. It's, it's who does all the little things right, who's, whose diet is the best, whose training is the best, whose mental focus is the best. That's what it's going to come down to. And I try to ensure that all those things are in place. Uh, I'm sure Joe is doing the same. And um, I just promise that I'm going to fight a, a good, aggressive fight. I'm going to look to finish the fight from start to finish. And, and, uh, you know, he fights aggressive as well. I think one thing that will be guaranteed that's going to be an exciting fight while it lasts. And, um, you know, of course, I'm, I'm confident that I'll come out on top. Um, but I'm just going to give it my best and see what happens, man. Uh, we, get, we get ninjas in here every once in a while. We have some ninjas, um, some karatekas. Um, it's the technical term for a karate guy. Uh, we got uh, archers and uh, we have all different types of guys coming in now ninjas in town he's getting ready for his next fight he's been hanging out in Boston and we're helping each other you know everyone in here at City Tong is, is trying to help each other out and um, ninja came um, a few months ago and trained over here like the environment um, I'm one of the few guys who could speak Portuguese or even understand what Marilla is saying because he speaks Portuguese so damn fast but uh, <laughs> so um, yeah we, we, we hit it off and we've been training and um, you know, I think it's going to be awesome having him in the gym. I think we're, we're all going to help each other out. And um, we're just trying to learn as much as I can, man. I'll train with anybody, any, anyone, anyone who comes off the street who can teach me one little thing, I'll train with that person. It doesn't matter. If I can pick something up, that's, that's great. And Ninja certainly has a, a ton of stuff to show. So it's been cool. There's a couple guys over here at the gym I'd like to like take out and I'll tell you that. That guy, no, not so much. I don't want to fight him. But, uh, you know, if there was one guy I'd like to fight, 
You know what? Gomi. I'd like to fight Gomi because everyone says this guy's the best. You know, everyone, and there's a lot of guys here at the gym, they want to fight Gomi too. You know, we all want to fight Gomi. We hate Gomi. No, you know, G Gomi's this guy, he, he's had a couple losses and everyone says he's the best and Man, I want to fight the best guys. I want to fight the top guys. He's a southpaw like me. He's an aggressive fighter, you know, and uh, I I just know that that's a fight that I would love to take, and, and I truly believe in my heart that I would beat him, you know. I I don't know. I just, I'd love to fight him. He's still ranked number one. He hasn't fought in a while. People still rank him as number one. Let's do it. I'd, I'd love to fight him. Check out my website, KennyFlorian.com or my MySpace page, uh, which is myspace.com slash Kenflow. Hit me up over there, check out the website, got some good information on training, all that stuff. Um, check out sidiotong.com, uh, that's what we're, tra we're training. We're training here in Somerville, we're training real hard. A lot of fighters over here getting ready for fights, and you know we got an unbelievable training environment over here, and, and uh, a lot of big things. We're on a roll right now, and uh, it's only gonna get bigger and better for 2008 and beyond. And, um, Sprawl, the best shorts in the, in, in the business. Just came out with some new shorts. Check them out before I take them all. NHBgear.com, NHB you can get some, some of my videos. I got some new videos coming out. I got an MMA drills DVD coming up that's gonna be sick. Um, there's like 50 drills. Um, a couple of these clowns are in it. You can check them out. And I got a, uh, a basics instructional for MMA that's coming out soon too. It's in the works. We're trying to make it perfect for you guys so you understand what the heck's going on. So you don't have to, you know, when someone has an arm lock, you don't have to say, punch him in the face, punch him in the face. Tortolot Solutions, Tough Guy Productions, uh, Versa Climber. They're going to scan me for a new UFC video game. That's Ready? cool. I'll be in the new UFC video game. So when I play, I can actually kick my own ass. April 2nd, main event, fight night. It's going to be a sick card. Uh, Carl Parisian against Thiago Alves. Stefan Bonner against Matt Hamill. Clay Guida is going to be on the card. Frankie Edgar is going to be on the card on the main event against Joe Lozon. You know, we're going back to Colorado. First time in 13 years. We're going back to Colorado. I'm training hard. You're going to see some new tricks from me April 2nd. And uh, thank you to all the fans for all the support. Cup from Cup. Fedor and Milianenko, is that what you're saying? Is that where we're going? I, Who I'd like you, to man. fight if I could be any weight? Fedor and Milianenko. I want you, man. <laughs>